There are two different ways to trade. You can either scalp or you can long-term trade. Long-term trades have higher stop losses. Your take profit level is very far away, so to stay comfortable, you need to have a bigger stop loss. Whereas scalping is a very short-term trade, so you want the most exact surgical entry, very small stop loss, and a quick take profit. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the best entries when scalping and how big your stop loss should be when you're holding a long-term position. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name's Artie and this is The Moving Average, a show where we discuss everything day trading to keep you profitable on a consistent basis. It's been a long time since I've discussed this. I've made a previous video about it, but I wanna talk about the three line strike and why it's so important and why it's actually your best entry for scalping any market. The reason is because it's price action. Okay, so I've got US 30 up here on the one hour chart. And what I wanna talk about is these double tops, triple tops, strong trends, double bottoms. I wanna show you how this correlates with trend trading and getting reversals and getting the best entries and where your stop losses should be on longer positions. Hopefully you guys can see this nice strong downtrend right here. If you can't, you need to keep learning. You can either draw a trend line across this in any way that you want, or what you can also do is just stick up a 21 period moving average. The 21 is a good short term trend and you can see how many times it's rejected off of the 21. Now zooming in, once price is trading below the 21, almost every single time that it rejected off of the 21, it was a three line strike, meaning that there was three green candles and one engulfing red candle right after. Three green, one red. Three green, one red. Now you may be asking yourself why I'm scalping on the one hour chart. I'm not, I'm just showing you what these three line strikes look like rejecting off of a 21 period moving average. The reason why I have it on a one hour chart is to show you these definitive double bottoms and double tops. So let me show you these three line strikes on a five minute chart. So these are the same areas circled from the one hour chart just zoomed into the five minute. So getting down to the five minute chart, all of these rejected, but this is the only one that had an engulfing candle where this candle is completely bigger than this candle. Didn't happen here, didn't happen here. So once you find that engulfing candle, that's going to be your entry point. Now your stop loss is going to be really, really tight. It's just going to be above that swing high. Now, depending on what your strategy is, whether you're targeting the previous swing low or a one to two risk to reward ratio or 20 pips, if the trade does not fall within your parameters, if that swing low is not more than 20 pips, you don't take the trade. If you don't get a one to two risk to reward ratio on that swing low, you don't take the trade. But if you can get a one to two or the swing low is below that, take the trade and just let it play out. This one landed your one to two risk to reward in 25 minutes. Again, engulfing candle, one to two risk to reward ratio, this one was really, really close. This one would have been a one to one risk to reward ratio and you would have been stopped out anyway. So that's why it's really important to see if your price target is actually worth you risking the trade. If you're only getting a one to one, it's not really worth risking 1% if your target is that close. Again, right here, that swing low, very, very small and the stop loss is bigger. So don't take that. Also, what you wanna keep in mind is that as this trend's going on for a period of time, it's eventually going to reject. So you can't just keep taking every single one of these three line strike trades or engulfing candle trades, because you can see you're making lower lows and lower highs. Then it makes a higher high breaking the trend. So when you're scalping, you wanna be looking at a higher time frame and the lower time frame that you're trading, looking for those three line strikes, looking for those good entries and looking for those tight stop losses. But when you're keeping in mind the higher time frame like the one hour and looking for these double bottoms, these are going to be your huge stop loss trades. These are going to be your long-term positions and you want to enter this trade on the higher time frame. So if this was your swing high, the trend went down, you created a double bottom, this is a trend reversal trade. You're looking for a rejection off of that double bottom and your stop loss is going to be 
a nice comfortable distance below this double bottom just in case it makes a triple and your price target is going to be where the price crossed a lot on this swing high or if you've drawn up support and resistance lines the previous known support and resistance this trade took seven days but it did get you 113 points so basically what i'm trying to tell you is that if you're scalping you're scalping with the trend and you're using these price action indicators like a three line strike to let you know that that's going to be your entry price that's going to be your sniper entry where you get the shortest stop loss and you just jab that thing every single time as the price is continuing in that trend a trend is all about lower highs and lower lows or vice versa then once you make the same low on a double bottom you know the trend is weakening and you should be looking for the price to go the other way short term scalping with the trend longer term higher stop loss trades against the trend or if you're like me and you don't like to do long-term trades you just wait for a nice strong trend to form again and then you scalp that trend along the way i hope this video helped you if you want more information on the three line strike watch this video right here and if you want more information on these double bottoms and double tops check out this video right here if you guys got some value out of this video you learned something new or it gave you that aha make sure you're dropping a like on these videos and we will see you in the next one